Any reptile lover who finds themselves in the Los Angeles area has one place that is a must visit. Forget about Disneyland or the Hollywood Walk of Fame, you need to check out Prehistoric Pets, where the real celebrities are all hanging out. This isn't just any lizard. This is the most famous lizard in the world. Uh, Disney Channel. No way. This is Mr. Kipling. Oh, it a, is? A, a Mrs. I Kipling. know Mr. Kipling. You know Mr. Kipling? Kipling? Everybody knows yeah. Mr. Kipling. Man, there you go. You I guys one day I hope to be famous like this. I know uh, Mr. Kipling. Mind. That's Absolutely. awesome. He's actually in a show. Uh, now he's in a show called Bunk. Oh my gosh. Dragon, oh, I love him. He's like, I was asleep down there. Look at wow. him. Is that cool or what? He's a beauty. Wow, I can just hold it. You're gonna get really wet. Get wet. Okay, I don't mind. Whoa. Is that cool or what? How much does he weigh? Ah, uh, probably what, 45 pounds? What? Huh. His name is Kipling? His, well, he's Frank to us. So in case you guys haven't figured out, I'm in California, I'm hanging out at pre California? Uh, isn't that where I, I don't want to be considered living in California. Where do you, where where are you want to be? I live in, I'm in free land. No, I'm just kidding. Where, where you, you're messing me up here. I thought you was going somewhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm, going Brewer. Brewer. I'm with Jay Brewer and our new friend Chelsea uh, and Mr. <laughs> Kipling. But we're hanging out at Prehistoric Pets. So there, there is where we're at. Hi, Incredible. How old is like he, man? like big lizards too, right? Oh, big time. Yeah. I, got, I was going to argue with you about the most famous lizard in the world because Slinky's pretty famous, dude. I don't know. He's got but two I think TV he's, shows yeah. under his belt. We got to get Slinky uh, huh? bumped up, man. <laughs> oh, he loves you. Uh, Here we go. Hold on. Uh, this be a little oh, careful yeah, the, the claws okay. can be a little bit. They're not sharp, but they're strong. <laughs> okay, I got him. I got and, what, him. and you know what, Chelsea? Tell everyone what your profession is. Um, what do you get to do? I uh, make television and music there videos. So, with famous people. Yeah. There you go. So, I, would, I guess. You, none as famous as you guys. No, but, but let's be real here. I mean, Do this, this would be a know? really amazing know, animal to have in your cool, video. Right? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Can I see his face again? Hi, Smooth. A face only mama could love. Hi, Smooth. And a whole bunch of little kids. He's Something happened in England about the book, Mr. Kipling, and. They had to rewrite it. Got a little so way Mr. To go. Kipling went out in the jungle oh, on a two-hour episode and became no Mrs. Kipling. No way. With actually one of my oh sorry, with one of my other lizards. Wow. <laughs> Look out, man. You so this is amazing. Either. How old is he? Uh you know he's about 15 now. Okay. So he's yep. getting up there. It's actually really old for an ancient yeah. water otter male. Oh is that God. really? So yeah. how many years before Slinky gets to this? Oh well gosh, Slinky's only about five years old. You got lots of time. I got lots of time with Slinky Boy. And he's getting big slinks, but this is a beautiful heavy his animal. His brother his brother's about a foot longer. Is he really? Yeah. Where'd you first get him? Uh actually we he was born here. No way. Yeah. That's he's, incredible. He's man. actually one of the first hat sulfurs ever made. There you go. That was known as a head sulfur. This is amazing. So, yeah. his, How rad is this? Yeah, it's dude? pretty neat. I'm I, psyched. I used to, you know, the funny thing about being here at Prehistoric Pets is when I was riding BMX back in the 90s and hanging out during the winter time in Huntington <laughs> Beach, which is a stone's throw away, I would somehow find my way over to Jay's shop. And Jay and I never physically no, met I don't think until so. today. Yep. We know That's each been other. It's a great experience. Line. Yeah, man, we've been bonding. So we're going to have some fun here today at Prehistoric Pets with our new friends. We got lots of cool stuff to show you. Awesome. Question, so if you, like, is this the tamest other Asian water monitor you've ever seen? Like there, there are they can this be one, tamed, but this he one used to roam the store with this guy, right? Oh Obviously. no, he he was hatched in my hand. <laughs> oh my god! So he's just used to it. He's just cool because he's is, always been with them. This is it. Touching. This guy doesn't know anything but people. That's really. He cool. used to roam the whole store, and little kids would pet him, and I always, I always just this used to be my test before I'd let him walk around. Is the first thing I would do is grab his, grab their tongue to make sure that they <laughs> they didn't care. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't want kids stepping on him. If you step on his toe, I mean, it sounds terrible, but he, all he does is carefully wait to get his toe back. Yeah. We and have he, to because he can't he can't be around people and when he was free roaming and have you know somebody be able to poke him in the eye oh, and yeah, right, bite right. his hand off because he poked him in his eye. But have you ever heard of anyone else who has a monitor? That There's a couple that? really tame monitors yeah. out yeah? there. There are. We're working with Slinky. Slinky will still give you the odd whip in the in the back with his tail, you know? But he has never bitten. That'll go away. Yeah. At about five or six is about the time they finally realize their They're big. authority. Mm -hmm. And then they realize, I don't need to bully anybody. Cool. I don't need to support my proving I'm tough. Yeah. I am and I know I am. Cool, And man. that's when they get cool. 
So that's so rad. Well, I'm excited to be here, man. Thanks for pulling them out. Yeah. I'm glad Chelsea showed up too because <laughs> I didn't know this was gonna happen. Man. Yeah, I'm so thrilled. So <laughs> well, what do you living say, the man? dream? That's what we call it. Yeah. You didn't think you were gonna do it. And that's living the dream. It is, man. Not so. many people get hands on with such large lizards, and they're all over like Southeast Asia. These animals, they're very intelligent. They're extremely smart uh, monitor lizards. Usually faster than he is. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> they gotta hunt. Food comes to him. What do you say? Want to put him back in and yep. we'll move along? Yep, sounds good. All right, dude. May I have the honors? Yep. Thank you. So rad. Go on. Oh my God, this is awesome. And as you can see, a couple of gator snappers hanging out. Slow and steady on this guy. How rad is that? Cool, man. <laughs> What's happening? We're still hanging out here at Prehistoric Pets. And uh, Jay, you are kind of known as the man with big snakes. I love my big snakes. Yes, I, you do. Um, I don't know why, but I've always been a. I like big turtles too. Tortoises. Like that's why I dig your stuff, All man. All right, man. Thank you. <laughs> and it's so cool that I'm out here because, you know, I get to a real chance to be up close with a very large reticulated python here. But this is not just any reticulated python. It's obviously a morph. And what morph are we looking at right now? This is actually a lavender sunfire, and it's the okay. first lavender sunfire. Her and her sister the first lavender sunfires ever, ever made produced. in the world. Unreal. Yep. And right now, guys, if you can get a tom right over here, you'll notice where she at. If you look... She's got follicles developing, which means right she's, she's going to start getting eggs. eggs. That is incredible. You can really see how they're bulging out of the side of her. Um, about how long before she'll lay these eggs? Uh, I'm assuming that she's probably about 25 days away from ovulation. Okay. When, and ovulation is when they actually shell the eggs and commit the whole thing. Gotcha. Fertilization. And uh, after that, she'll lay 30 days after that. And... Uh, Babies in. 84 days after that. 84 days. So it's a lot. That's why these can't survive like in Florida and, and, and reproduce because they have the longest, the second longest gestation of any python. Okay. African rock pythons are like, they actually survive out there supposedly. Yeah, every once in a while. But they handle a cooler, cooler yeah, temperatures cool. because Africa's more variable. There's such a wide range over Africa. Exactly. So that's incredible. So. Let's walk over here. Um, so you can actually here here you go you can see that yeah oh so you see that bumps right in the side yeah that's so amazing so you can actually see the bumps let's see when she relaxes for one second right over here see look at them boom 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 there they all are that is so look cool. at that so those are she'll lay about 50 to 60 eggs uh, some of them will have lay more eggs than this one despite its size. But this one has nice, big, huge, juicy eggs. Okay, so and that's what you want. You want the yeah. adults to, you to know, be honest, they're going to be fertile the, and get the, going. Yeah, the funny part about reticulated pythons, even the little tiny eggs do really well. They do. And it's funny because you can look at the size of the snake, and then when you get little eggs, you're like, oh my gosh, it's like 70, 80 eggs. Where if it's great big eggs, it's like 50 or 60. Gotcha. All right, you know? but both sizes will hatch and do fine. Absolutely. Okay, cool. So, so you were telling me she's a twin, um, but... There's one that's a little gnarlier. Well, actually, I don't even know which one's which. It's just that so one's funny. not 100% predictable. So we don't know if Chelsea, our friend over here, <laughs> has got the unpredictable snake. Yeah, she's very brave. Oh, no, I think we're friends. Yeah. yeah. Buddy buddies. Yeah, this is cool, man. So, I feel her. You know, with the retics, you know, Obviously, in your channel is a lot of fun for this. You give a lot of great information. That's why I love. We try. Out. I like. You know. You know. I just do what I do. I. This right. is what I do every day. You know. I have a good time. I love animals. I love every kind of animal. To be completely honest. Gotcha. That's why I. You know, I, I have some. I have some uh, aldabras right over there. Yeah, I know. I was checking. That's to grow them up for the zoo. Because awesome. one day I want to have some big tortoises like this guy. Dude, we're getting. It. You got to come out to my house. So I'm gonna go grab gonna, her real quick. Let me just see if I can get her back. I'll bring her back with us. Come here, sweet pea. Mama's mama wants to go back in her back into her enclosure, but look at this. So this is just We just put her in with a male the other day and she was playing hard to get that. Was she? she? But I don't know. After the lights went off, I don't but know. But she what really does want to get <laughs> <laughs> When did you get your first retick, Jay? Oh, uh, you know, this is a strange, strange story that you'd ask that. Of all the snakes in the world, at 13 years old. I ended up with a 20, about an 18 foot reticulated python. And this was back when they were all wild caught. Don't ask me why it wasn't mean. I don't know why. My dad, I was, a, it was my father was really old and I guess he just didn't care what I had. And, and uh, the, the bummer of the story was I left out of state for a while and it was the coldest year, the coldest year on record. I, I, I just probably can go look at it now. And 
I ended up, we ended up losing her that summer. We're, we're gonna lose her, I think. She, <laughs> she, she is just on a mission. That's a nice story, Jay, but I need a little help, man. This Come is on, a girl. lot of work. I gotta tell you, man, this is not... It's a heavy snake. Yeah, it's it, incredible. It, it, you know, you look at a snake like this and you think, it's not that big, it's oh, not that God. heavy. This is over 100 pounds, easy. Oh, that's, it's that's snake close weight. to 200 I, or I wish I could have you pick it up, but I don't want it picked up because of all the oh, eggs. Yeah. But this snake's about 220. Oh my God. So Princess Buttercup at home, guys, is only about 14 feet long. It's a Burmese python. I can still manage her easily. Uh, you shouldn't work with a snake that's larger than we, you alone. We will get one, we'll get one out, let him play with a big one that just to pick up that's not full of eggs. Okay. So this, this one here, they needed to do the cage a little bit. We figured it'd be great snake. She's got a good disposition. Even though she could have been the other one, the other one really has a good disposition too. <laughs> Except so. to pitch it. Once. Yeah. And, Once. And, My yeah. wife spit me more than that and slapped me a whole bunch more times. You're more that. frightened of her, aren't <laughs> <Just> you? <laughs> She's scarier, but not really. She's a, we had lunch with her. She's a sweetheart. Uh, oh my gosh. Well, what do you say? We'll put her back and maybe we can go look at one of the uh, other snakes. Absolutely. Cool. Oh, we got it. All right. This one's actually probably not as heavy as that oh last. Oh my gosh. One. Hey guys. <laughs> so we got another. We got another retake out, and this is a spindly one. Oh, All right, whatever. So <laughs> this animal is moving, baby. How cool is that? So, no worries. I don't need that. Uh, I just uh, almost. Oh, yeah. Almost. Okay, we're gonna get that because. Well, here we go. Woo! <laughs> Hold on, Jay. Dang it. We got a situation. Uh, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. It's just. This is unbelievable. Where's Where's the head? Here we go. All you know is you better keep that thing away from me. Yeah, Tom's gonna have a problem. Yeah, let's fix Thank the you. biggest problem. Yeah, yeah we don't want to shine. We don't want to see the shiny head. So my gosh, what, so this is just... All great people wear hats for a reason. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're bald. <laughs> I'm turning oh, into a turtle. No, tell the truth, it's because we're good looking. We're good, we have too we, much testosterone. That's, 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 that's what it is. You know what they say, right? What? Grass doesn't grow on a busy street. <laughs> Dude. My uncle always says this. this they said t testosterone is only used for, it's, a, it's only used for two things and growing hair is in our, what we're worried about. There you go. All right, listen, hold on, Jack. Let's get to some information. All right, reticulated python. This thing's gotten so jumpy. All right, relax, relax. I'm just telling this, you. I'm not nervous. I'm just, I'm winded, man. This is a heavy animal. It's heavier than you think. Yeah, and it's active. And so this is why, this is kind of what retics get their name from, right? Well, not name, but they're, they're kind of known for being a little bit more active, right? Uh, I think, think? They, they basically have a bad name because when they're out of the wild, they're very mean, very aggressive. But of course, this snake is multi-generations captive born. So guess what? We don't have to be so worried about it. Okay, cool. Well, she, it, it, is it a she female? It's a girl. She hasn't opened her mouth not once. She just wants to go exploring. Here we go. So we finally got her chilling. How much does she weigh? A lot. This animal weighs a lot, and she is... Wait until she yeah. gets off the ground. Oh my god. This is a lot of work, mate. I don't... They're I'm, heavier than people think they look. I'll tell you holy that. Holy smokes, and I work with tortoises, and I have to lift them suckers. Tortoises, dead weight. Oh, this is just weight, just moving around in every direction. So it really takes a lot just to keep them going. Oh my gosh. How many big three ticks do you have? Uh, probably more than probably I want to admit. Maybe, <laughs> like I said, if I would knew how, if I knew how many I had, I might have to be institutional. They'd lock you up. <laughs> but I'm sure I have over 25, over 20 All feet. Right, so check that out. Look, look at my. She's squeezing. <laughs> Not because she's trying to hurt me. She needs she's to just hang trying on. to hang on. She doesn't want to fall. Oh my gosh. But guys, I'm not that tough. It turns out, man. This is an awesome <laughs> animal. A lot of work, guys. So I'll tell you what. I think we had a fun episode here with Jay. I want to shake your hand, man. I tell you, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked, man. I would love it if you came to my neck of the woods so I can get you out messing I, with some of the animals we have you, at the camp. You, I'll tell you this much. Long as I will be there, long as I don't die between now and when I get there. All right. <laughs> and I'd love to go there and. Uh, I'm looking forward to it because right. I know you got some beautiful stuff. I've always been following you. You got a great bunch of animals. Thank you. And I love your I love your YouTube channel. Oh man, you're too much fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, if you don't know about prehistoric pets, uh, you got to check them out and go to his YouTube channel. Shout out your YouTube channel, brother. Prehistoric Pets TV, guys. There check you go. it out. All right, everybody. We got work to do. Let's get this going. Oh, there we go. All right, man. Let's run her back we back in there. She got my leg. Oh, oh, hi, sweetie. She's, she's <laughs> a headbutt. Oh, my God. She's, oh, she's musking. <laughs> is that what that is? Fine.